Alright guys, so I left Western at about 10 past 5 and it's now just quarter to 7 so made pretty good time um, in fairness it's a, a nice drive um, yeah no issues at all except Chibbit Hill uh, there's a Ford and it was quite deep and my car's just not geared up for that sort of thing so that was a bit of a hairy moment I actually had to get out and have a look and sort of assess it and see whether I was going to be able to drive through it or whether I was going to have to go back uh, I got through it um, no major issues yet um, and yeah all looking good um, the weather was supposed to be cloudy and overcast but on the drive down here I was you know I could see stars clear skies I'm not sure if that's what I really want but you know we'll see but now I'm here there's some crazy fog um, on the last couple of miles approaching um, Landacre Bridge the, the yeah the fog is is pretty intense and um, I've just been <laughs> scared stupid by a couple of Exmoor ponies that just came out of nowhere too but uh, yeah all good so uh, it's obviously too dark to do anything at the moment but um, I'll hang fire and then we'll see what happens another quick update it's 20 past 7 still a lot of fog around but when I wind down the window I can hear the river bow the bridge is literally just to my right over there um, I'm parked in the, the upper car park just a little bit away from the bridge because if there's two parking areas down the bottom if you park down there then obviously your, your car is going to be in the way so hopefully nobody else will park there through the day but um yeah, a bit, I'm getting excited but apprehensive because the fog is still really bad. Um, if it stays like this, I'm not going to be able to see anything. So I'm hoping with the earlier clear skies that as the sun starts to come up, it starts to burn a little bit off, a uh, bit of the fog off. But um, yeah, we'll see. So fingers crossed. Morning, guys. Uh, my name's Chris from Chris Sweet Photography. And welcome to episode one of Photographing Exmoor. This morning I'm at Landacre Bridge, as you can see in the background. Um, first time at this location. Weather was allegedly going to be uh, overcast, but I don't know if you can see... It's just a tad on the foggy side, but I reckon I can make this work, so uh, yeah, we're going to have a go. Now, I've always fancied this location, this medieval stone bridge uh, that crosses the river barrel. Um, ever since I saw a shot of it online I fancied coming down here and having a go uh, the plan was um, because it was due to be overcast the plan was to do a bit of long exposure black and white but uh, I mean that can still work with the fog but um, either way I think colour will work here today as well There's some, all, the, all the brains on the landscape and everything are just going to be it's going to make for some fantastic shots, I think. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. Fantastic. Unfortunately, the sky has done absolutely nothing. Completely white, no detail whatsoever. So, I don't think this is going to turn out brilliant, but you know, it was nice to be here. It's a fantastic place. But, um, probably won't be long now before I move on. Oh, 
Alright guys, so I was down at the bridge, which is down that way, and uh, I happened to look upstream um, and fancy to wander up, and then I noticed these, well, I'll show you. Look at those trees. Absolutely incredible. So I'm going to have a go now, getting down, down there, down there, nice and low to the water, and see if I can get a composition with those trees and use the river as a lead. guys well I'm just about done here but let me tell you about 20 minutes ago I had the most spectacular light I was up river um, unfortunately a little bit too far really um, too far away from the bridge because the the Sun broke through the clouds the mist was rising up off the river right under the bridge it was just incredible um, I managed to switch over to I was, I was shooting with a 1735. I managed to switch over to uh, a 24 to 70, take a couple of shots from upriver at 70 mil, and I think I got some good ones. So um, hopefully, I'll be able to show you those now. <laughs> 